Jason, I got a nice little project for you guys today. I'm gonna be building a two by four tripod for someone that I know. Um, she doesn't know that she's getting it yet, so it'll be a little bit of a surprise. I'm gonna give it to her this weekend when I go down to Vicksburg to help her work on some headstones in the cemetery um, Saturday. So we'll be down in Vicksburg on Saturday. We're gonna be working together. Uh, I'm gonna show her a few things and uh, I'm gonna give her this tripod. So I have about uh, $90 into the tripod itself you know these um three two befores were uh oh i don't remember i think these were like 60 bucks for these three two befores let me check that and then uh you know a piece of chain a couple quick links and a bolt and some fender washers um and then that doesn't include the rigging and the chain fall so that's probably gonna be about another 80 dollars so i'm gonna be Right around 150 160 dollars somewhere in there um, when it's all said and done these are pressure treated 10 foot two by fours uh, they should be good and strong i've made sure to pick some that didn't have too many knots on the edge because um, you know the edge is where you're gonna need uh, your strength so um, first thing i'm gonna do is uh, i'm gonna i got these stacked up i'm gonna drill a uh, 5 8 hole all the way through and uh, we'll put the bolt through and make sure that that's gonna work. If I need a little bit bigger hole, then I'll drill a three quarter. So, got my uh, drill here with a 5 8 drill bit in it. We're gonna go about an inch and a half to two inches down. Right in there. We're just gonna drill straight through. Fire as you can. not make it all the way through but it should have got most of the way through that bottom one oh yeah okay I got these fender washers to uh, put on the outside here so that that bolt can pull against them. The bolt's not going to be super tight. Uh, it's going to allow for a, a lot of movement in the ends of these boards. So I got these washers so that the bolt doesn't gouge into the end of that two by four. So we're going to go all the way through we'll put our two washers on this end see how much room there is there there's a lot so that's where these quick links come in we're gonna put a quick link here yeah <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna have to drop the bolt through the quick link. This one I thought things were going so smoothly. Obviously, I'm gonna tighten this up just a little bit. That's a stop nut on there, what a lot of people call a, uh, a nylock nut. Um, so that's just gonna go as tight as I want it to be, and that's it. So now, we'll stand this thing up. Yeah. 
and you can kind of start to see how it's going to function. And uh, we'll bring this way out here like this so that we can reach up there. And put our chain on our quick links. <laughs> oh, this is going to work out how I wanted it to. I'm going to end up having to get a little step stool. So, and I think I'm going to have to make those holes just a little bit bigger. So, uh, I'll do that and then I'll bring you guys back and we'll pick up right here where I'm leaving off at. Okay, so here we are <laughs> again at this point. I uh, drilled these holes out a little bit bigger so we get a little more movement uh, in them. I uh, put the quick links on the chain and now I'm just gonna do like we did before drop this stuff through on the wrong side of the center two by four there okay so obviously we're gonna have to tighten some things up up there a little bit but uh seems to be fairly decent there and i'll show you guys uh there there's my water tank and my trailer <laughs> but uh so that's basically what that entails. And then uh, we'll get a chain fall and hang the chain fall from there <clears throat> so that we can lift things up. I am gonna use this today. So for those of you that may be saying, oh geez, he's just gonna build this tripod and go give it to somebody, even though he doesn't like using them. I'm actually gonna go use this uh, in about a half hour just to Give it a dry run, make sure it works right, make sure it's going to be easy to use. Um, it's a little bit heavy, but once the 2x4s dry out, um, they should really uh, lighten up some. So I'm going to tighten that bolt up up top, grab my chain fall out of the trailer, and we're going to go to the cemetery. So see you there. All right, so I tighten up that bolt. <laughs> Excuse my dog. And my other dog that you probably didn't see. Well, yeah, she's going to mess around with me. Um, so I tighten that bolt up, and I got the chain fall hanging from uh, the chain up top. And uh, for those of you that say, well, that's not going to be able to lift anything, I'm uh, 230 pounds. And I can hang off of it pretty easy. Not too much flexion in these legs. So I would say, you know, this is something that you're going to lift less than 500 pounds with. You're not going to go over 500 pounds. Mostly because if it does happen to break, um, first of all, you're going to really probably damage the headstone. Um, but if uh, it was to break, one of these legs was to break and it fell on you, uh, you know, something 500 pounds, even something 300 pounds falls across your leg and you're going to be in a world of hurt so i think uh this will work perfect for her and uh, i hope she enjoys it but uh let's go on out to the cemetery and see how it works for ourselves all right so here we are midland city cemetery i'm here with walt bennett he's our uh, president of the midland Gene genealogical society and uh, we found this headstone uh, last summer 
Yes. And uh, it was laying down on its back. The base that you see here was actually about almost two feet underground. Um, and this headstone, you've probably seen it if you've seen some of my live streams, uh, it says our grandmother on it. And that's pretty much all it says as far as identification. So we went to the cemetery office, found out that uh, this grave plot belongs to a Cochrane. And uh, Walt uh, did some digging and actually found out that this person's name is Mary McLaughlin. Um, she was living with her son, yes, son, with her grandson, who was a Cochrane um, in the 1850, 1860 census in uh, New York. So uh, we've been able to put a name to this headstone and now we're gonna put it back upright in the plot the way that it was placed uh, in 1868, the way it should be. So, And uh, we got this tripod that I built for uh, Jane and we're gonna give it a little test run today, make sure that it's good to go, so. What do you think that weighs? 200 pounds? 250? 100%. All right, well, here it is. It's back upright, exactly the way it's supposed to be, back in its original base. Um, I didn't want to bore you guys with all of the normal, you know, this is how you reset it, and this is how you mix the mortar and all that stuff, because you've seen it a million times, and you're probably going to see it a million more. <laughs> but this video was really uh, focused on whether or not that tripod was going to work, and I think it worked great. Uh, no big major issues with it. I think it's going to be a great tripod for uh, Jane to use uh, for many years to come, and uh, hopefully it will help her out, help her get the work that she wants to get done down in her local area done. So, um, thanks for coming along. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If uh, you're not subscribed yet, you should do that. And you should hit that bell so you don't miss anything else just like this.